Hi, we're here with Norb Mayerhofer, and he is the Global Vice President of Procter & Gamble Food Service Professional. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. I'm good, how are you? Just fine, thank you. So you're also the Chairman of the Board of IFMA. That's right. What has that year been like for you? It's been a great year. Uh, IFMA is uh, an organization that is really devoted to focusing on delivering the needs of its members and uh, either delivering for its members things that they couldn't do on their own or delivering for its members things that they couldn't do as well uh, without us. So it's been a wonderful year, great people, very focused on, on the industry, on the end using consumer, um, and it's wonderful to work with folks like that. And I know that there's been a lot of activity and a lot of initiatives. Can you talk about some of the things that you've been working on with Larry Obergfeld in the last year? Well, um, yeah, a, a couple of the key things really, starting from the top really, is we have a, a new strategy. We've spent a lot of time and a lot of energy developing a, a, a strategy for the enterprise that is really focused on uh, the members and on helping the members deliver value to their customers, which is the ultimate consumer. So that's been great. Those strategies are backed up by very, very clear and specific action plans. So we've got a series of those things that we're doing in order to, to execute the strategies. Scorecards to go deliver that and, um, and a, a, a sensing system within the industry, not only among our members, but also among our, our distributor and our operator customers to make sure that we are delivering what they need. And uh, it's been wonderful to go through that uh, exercise. IFMA's been around for a long, long time, has done very well, uh, not only in the industry, but also in its, uh, for its members. And uh, renewing that has been a, a real challenge, but a, but a delightful one, and uh, working with great people. So what's not to like? And how has that affected your role at Procter & Gamble? Well, I, I think it's enhanced it um, for a variety of reasons. The biggest one really is, is um, uh, you get to see a lot of different things. Procter & Gamble's been around for a long, long time, as you probably know, and uh, in, in, uh, we are a hire at the entry level, promote from within kind of a company. And if you're not careful in a company like ours, you can really believe, begin to believe your own press clippings, and you gotta be careful about that. The IFMA is a chance for me to get out and sense and see customers and consumers and really understand, so that's been great. Uh, I also think it helps because I get a lot of different perspectives from associating with these, uh, these men and women that do this work, and uh, they're bright, they're smart, they run good companies, and uh, I can learn from them as well. And what are you most excited about in 2011 and 2012 for the restaurant industry? Well, I think the industry has come through, I think, the worst time. It's been very, very challenging, you know, as consumers, rightfully so, have, have reevaluated their priorities based on some economic difficulties that they're having. Um, but in the process of doing that, you know, the old saying, that which that doesn't kill you makes you stronger, um, I think the industry is getting stronger. It's uh, rededicated itself to delivering value to its core consumers. Um, it's done so in a way that keeps its costs reasonable, which makes it more competitive long term. And uh, I think at the, when, when this thing starts to turn around, as it is, I think that things are gradually starting to get better. Um, I think we'll see a stronger industry, and I think we'll see an industry that continues to employ literally millions of people and, and delivers value to its members and, and to its consumers.